What's up, everybody? This your boy Trayvon here with Sin Talk TV. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. I really do appreciate the love and the support that you guys give. You guys are amazing, fantastic, wonderful, wonderful people you are. Thank you so much for everything that you do. And without further ado, let's jump into the review. So, uh, this, video, this video is not going to be a men's fragrance review. It's going to be a women's fragrance review. i got to show the ladies some type of love. You know, I can't just do just men's. i got to try to squeeze in some knowledge about women's fragrances too, which I do have uh, somewhat. And I'm going to do the best I can to review the women's fragrances. And this one in particular is from the house of Michael Kors. It is Michael Kors Sparkling Blush. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go, it's focused. So, Michael Kors Sparkling Blush. Um, in the opening, well, first off, here's the bottle. The nice little gold cap. It's kind of loose, so the quality of the cap is meh. Uh, it has a snug fit. It's kind of loose a little bit. Sparkling blush, sp microcore sparkling blush at the front. You got the size and size and concentration, as well as the name of the fragrance and the house right here at the bottom of this on the sticker. You can't barely see it. Nothing on the top. You got Michael Kors on the top right here on the front it focuses so anyway that's out of the way uh mk sparkling blush what did i get uh atomizer is decent it's a warm spicy vanilla as well as fruity up top and it's uh has some warm spicy and woodiness in this as well um some of the notes are vanilla amberwood and i believe there are some jasmine and rose are some of the notes to name a few there's quite a bit of notes in here um this is one of my mom's favorites this she has um i bought her two within the past two years and uh, she has a total of four. Two that she purchased on her own and two that I bought her. She loves this stuff as well as I do. So, fellas, I highly recommend if you have like a wife or a girlfriend or something like that and you want to give her something to add to her um, collection or anything like that, this is a great pickup. This is a, uh, a one an ounce bottle um i got this roughly around 56 bucks at northam rack um that's where i that's where i found this um anywhere else i'm not sure i don't know if you can find this at a dealer's or a macy's or anything i haven't found it but i got this at northam rack for a good price um the original price on this was like 75 dollars i got for 56 um so if you're looking to uh, get like a nice Christmas birthday gift or whatever for like, you know, a girlfriend, a wife or whatever, your mom or anything like that. Um, this is a nice one. So what I get out of this is a nice, sweet, smooth, creamy, it has saddlewood in here too. If I didn't say saddlewood, saddlewood gives it a nice, creamy, sweet woodiness to this fragrance. And the dry down and the opening is very warm, spicy, uh, somewhat, um, I wouldn't say fresh, but it's citrusy in the opening. But then, the, with that, within the longevity of the fragrance, you get this, this warm spice, sweet, smooth vanilla and uh, amber in a dry down throughout the longevity of the fragrance. However, my mom said that she has gotten six to seven hours out of this in longevity. 
Now she has she I asked her what was the longevity of what was the projection. She she said it was an hour uh, of decent projection and sit close to the skin after that. Um, six to seven plus hours she got out of this. This is pretty good. I don't know about some other women with the chemistry. You probably got less out of this. Some women might get more, but if you get less, spray more, depending on what situation that you're in, doctor's office and stuff like that, close encounters, you want to spray less. Um, as far as seasons go, I would say that this is a good uh, all year round. Um, but if you uh, if you want to wear it, summertime, springtime, wintertime, fall time, wear what you want to wear anytime, any place. Any season, any age group can pull this off. But if you want my recommendation on any Pacific, I would say age group, middle age, middle age on up, teenagers, uh, teenage uh, girls might want to wear this. Um, it does have some usefulness to it. It's not that mature. It's not mature at all. It doesn't have that maturity into this at all. Um, so I think any age group for women can pull this off. Um seasons spring fall uh this is a eau de parfum concentration so it does have a little bit of gut oil in here um it's not uh necessarily a lot of alcohol in this when i spray i don't get a lot of alcohol blast in the top um when i sprayed this i didn't get that much um yeah, um, this is a nice, this is a good complimenting, this can garner you some good compliments uh, if worn correct, correctly. Uh, it does have that sweetness, that central sexiness to this fragrance to the point where you can pull off some good compliments from this, ladies. Um, yeah, um, this is a solid pickup. If you are in your local Nordstrom rack or anything like that, and you find this for a good price, pick it up. I mean, is it is it a must? No, but if you were to see this for a good price, pick this bad boy up. Um, this is not gonna blow anybody's mind. It might, uh, depending on what your taste is and fragrances and what you're looking for, it might. But uh, if you want something that that's like you know more unique. Uh, I don't think you'll find this, find uniqueness within this, but you will find it to be very pleasant uh, to your nose. Um, yeah, in my opinion, this is not a bad fragrance for uh, women. Um, like I said, fellas, like, you know, wife, uh, girlfriend, you want to give on uh, occasions or just uh, off a GP, go ahead and uh, pick this up and give it to her. She'll love it. She'll like it. Um, in my opinion, yeah, she'll like this. So, uh, that's all I got for Michael Kors Sparkling Blush. So, as always, people, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I am Trayvon here with Talk TV, and I will see you in the next video.